All right. Welcome back to the channel, Sagitnet 2. Uh, today's episode is just a little bit of an update on the G23BK. I'm still on pursuit of the ultimate driving experience. <laughs> As you can see, I got the, uh, the G23BK shifter linkage removed because I'm still experiencing a misshift from fourth to fifth gear. And I really, really have to watch myself whenever I'm shifting on fifth gear and always slowly releasing the clutch. And yeah, it's been a, a struggle for me. I uh, remember last time what I did on this one, I shortened this one and attached a, a Civic linkage. It's because of the play. This is uh, a whole lot better as far as comparing it to the old one. So I went to the junkyard and got me a, a 95 Acura B-Series transmission linkage. So I thought I put this on and see if there's any difference. But so far, this car have been what more than 20 something years old and this thing is still good, man. It just hardly have any play on it. So hopefully the length will be the same. Otherwise, the shifter linkage will be facing forward again. But that's okay, because I have another plan. I was thinking of getting one of those, um, like an adapter or something where the shifter will be extended. Yeah, I kind of miss the, uh, <laughs> The looks and the ergonomics of using one of those uh, extended uh, shifter linkage but uh, yeah uh, this one just hardly have any play on it and there sure is a difference in between the two look at the the size maybe that's the reason why I'm miss shifting I think so hopefully uh, yeah hopefully uh, this will make a difference man so i don't have to get one of those uh Hasport or innovative then it will really save me a lot of money i just want to make sure that this thing is all the length is the same hmm. it looks like it's gonna make it i'll put it over here there you go Right there. Oh, perfect, man. Oh, man. Uh, a little bit too long. Uh, right there. Well, I think a quarter inch. It's not gonna kill me or anything like that. Oh, that's okay. And now I know. Um, there are a difference between these two look at the size of this so i think this will really help me out as far as like moving it left left to right the side movement yeah and let me see if it's correctly angled right this one is towards the right and this one is on the left hmm Look at that. Oh, I see it. I see now. I did it this way. It's because, I remember, I shifted the motor. So on the first one that I got, the no-name brand uh, shifter, remember, I have mentioned that uh, whoever built that linkage are not uh, paying attention. And... In a way, it did me a favor because now my transmission is shifted to the right a little bit and being like this, it helps me out. But this one here, now it's totally different. But we'll see. Uh, remember, I have a quarter inch uh, length. This is a plus, so maybe that should be enough. But we'll see how it goes. Like I said earlier, if I can eliminate mis-shifting from 
fourth to fifth gear, instead of fifth gear, it goes on third gear, then I'll be okay. I'm not gonna bother to uh, show you how to install this because uh, I've, show, I've shown this multiple times and uh, I'll just give you guys an update on this one. B-series uh, shifter, Integra, it's offset right there and this is the Civic and this one is wider than this one right here I got this spacer and if I put it on like so that will compensate for that extended leverage right there yeah so I'm just gonna put it in a way this is the double bend right there so it will be towards the passenger side the offset will be okay I ran into some hiccups a little bit this one right here, this side, since this is too wide, it was touching on shifting to first and second. Fifth gear, it's fine, but all I did is just hammer it a little bit, bend it back, and no issue anymore. I just thought I'd share that one for some of you guys that wanted to do the same thing, where you are shifting the motor towards the right. Just getting Miley to warm up a little bit. But this is what the uh, shifter look like. Uh, it's a little bit uh, towards the front, but I think uh, it's much better than uh, to begin with. Finding all that differences between the linkages, the, uh, the wideness of the, uh, the bracket, and also the shifter. Uh, I think uh, I have high hopes on this one that uh, I should not miss a uh, fifth gear anymore. Let's go uh, take her out for a ride. Yeah, I don't wanna leave everyone hanging after finding that differences, man. It's a huge difference. right away otherwise <laughs> I'm not, know, not knowing that it's on third gear but yeah what a difference man man I tell you you can't really beat Honda OE original equipment yeah I'm surprised this thing after 24 something years uh, the, there's hardly any play on it Worth twenty dollars, man. Really, really worth it. Let go of the clutch. I'm 
properly otherwise it's on third gear between the two on the Civic and the uh, Integras how wide it is the bracket and also the shifter uh, like it's offset hmm. yeah I didn't know that one right on man right on all right let's go home that was a good test drive yeah so uh, it's perfect the shifter it leans forward a little bit but uh, in a good way so uh, I can live with that now knowing that uh, I'm not missing uh, fifth gear anymore so uh, I say it's all good <laughs> I have four episodes coming up and uh, I hope you guys like this one because uh, it really got me interested on his car and everything and I'm really proud to say that I that I I'm glad I work on his car but everyone can relate to him regarding his living status you know he's got no place to work on his car but he's been trying he's got the vision and yeah he, he executed right I mean it needs some uh, fixing a little bit here and there but uh, like I said yeah, hopefully you guys like it. I know you guys will like it. Just leave a message. But as far as the uh, update on Miley, shifter linkage, bye-bye. I'm good now. All right. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that like button. See you guys on the next. I'm signing out. Target Net 2.